Jimmy Wall has our review. The time is the mid-50s, the place, Dublin, Ireland. It's the sad and heartbreaking tale of Judith Hearn, a lonely spinster haunted by disappointment. A new life seems possible when she moves into a ramshackle boarding house and the landlady's brother takes an interest in her. Miss Hearn. There's, there's not much to do in this town, that's a fact. Not like New York. Do you like the movies? You mean the pictures? Yeah. Yes. You doing anything tomorrow afternoon? No. I don't believe I am. Okay, we'll we'll take it a show then, shall we? And maybe a bite to eat after. Lovely. What transpires is a classic misunderstanding. Miss Hearn thinks she might have found a husband, while Mr. Madden, played by Mona Lisa's Bob Hoskins, is an opportunist looking for a business partner. Do you see me as a woman, Jim? Why, sure. At least we're doing something together. Together, something. So's alone. Doesn't mean you're nobody. You don't exist. In the lonely passion of Judith Hearn, Maggie Smith puts in yet another performance worthy of an Oscar. She does such a beautiful, sensitive job playing the pitiful Judith Hearn that it's quite easy to see why she's considered to be one of the finest actresses of the second part of the century. As far as the enjoyment factor is concerned, it's difficult to have a good time with this movie unless you like to wallow in sadness. But if you can get past that, it's a very moving film. The Lonely Passion of Judith Hearn gets three stars for fine acting by the principals and the supporting cast, and a very strong script. Jamie Wall, CFCN oh. News.